Tonight at 5, we're learning new details about the two people who died in a plane crash at the Madison County Airport Tuesday night. We know one of them was a father of three. Tonight, 10 TV's Lindsay Mills spoke with the family of one of the men who died. She is live tonight at the airport with the update. Lindsay. Andrew and Yolanda, the father of Atar Ashraf, says the last 24 hours have been difficult. He says his son was learning to fly. It was a passion of his. Atar Ashraf is my son, the only son. Muhammad Ashraf arrived at the Madison County Airport Wednesday afternoon where his son died. The reason I came here is his car is there and I came to get his car and his wallet. Ohio State Highway Patrol says Atar Ashraf was killed when the Cessna 172 plane he was in crashed. It happened Tuesday evening at 6.20 p.m. The plane was on its top when first responders arrived. According to the flight path, the plane took off and landed here at the airport. Something you would expect to see with a uh, student pilot just learning to fly, you know, low and slow flights, slow turns and banks, so nothing out of the ordinary. The FAA and NTSB remained on scene Wednesday investigating. The airport remained closed this morning and reopened late this afternoon. The plane is registered to the other occupant, a pilot who also died, Malik Aftab Nassim of Alabama. It was a student pilot and a flight instructor. Ashraf's father says he was learning how to fly. He lived in Columbus with his three daughters, and his father says he had a big extended family and many friends. Everybody loves him. And the next few days will be difficult. It will be uh, not good. Tomorrow we are uh, having a funeral. And we have a lot of friends and uh, relatives. They have come. And investigators say they aren't sure who was in control of the plane when it crashed when it was trying to land. Live in London, Lindsay Mills, 10TV News.